what it is do it's your boy crook ldb team 100 we in here sure and we got some more next gen player ratings man we got some more ratings out um this is a much shorter video so it's not going to have a lot of players on there i'm assuming uh videos only like about like a minute and 13 seconds long but we're gonna check it out we're gonna see what's the business and um, this is brought to you by the homies I made. Link will be in the description. So uh, yeah, let's go and check this out, man. K twenty one next gen player rating screenshots have been released, man. Zach Levine tops off the list at eighty five overall. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Zach Levine is underrated, bro. Zach Levine is a bucket. Zach Levine, I said it's Levine. Zach Levine been a bucket. Everybody knew about Zach uh, uh, Levine since you know the dunk contest, especially that one where he got robbed, bro. Or was it Aaron Gordon? No, it was Aaron Gordon that got robbed. But, bro, Zach Levine is definitely a beast, bro. I just feel like he just hasn't been on good teams for him to showcase that, and he's playing in Chicago right now, which is not very good. So, I feel like he would be a great addition to a title contending team. Maybe a Utah. he come out the bench for Utah. I mean, him and Jordan Clarkson will be decent. You feel me? Shit. What about Miami? He come out the bench for Miami? What? That is scary. To be honest with you. But. Oh, and Rui. Hachimura comes in at a 79 right beneath him. I felt like they could have gave my boy an 80, man. He's really been hooping at Washington, man. I haven't and watched Thon any Washington game. At 73 overall, I've been watching Thon Maker since high school, bro. I always thought he could dominate. Thon the Maker? Uh, I, like they could I haven't watched any Detroit games. I'm going to be honest with you. And we got Frank Nilekina. Frank Nilekina. At 73 overall, man. Doing his thing in New York on the Knicks. Is he really doing his thing, though? That has to be. Dante Exum, also a 73 overall, who can still back in Cleveland. And I feel like Dante Exum was a disappointment. At a 70 overall, man. We can also see here that AD is a 96. Danny Green is a 76. Green is Contavis 76. Caldwell Pope was 76. A 76 Russo is 75. Russo is I feel 75. like they can give Caldwell Pope like a 78. Caldwell Pope definitely did like carry. Hit subscribe if you're new and turn on post notifications so you never miss another one of my videos. All right. All right, well, hold on. All right, so we got Zach Levine at 85. We got Zach Levine at 85. Okay, so we got Ryu. I don't. I'm not really familiar with him too much. I didn't really watch any Wizards games, um, because they, quite frankly, they're just not that good. So I don't know about him. Um, yeah. So we are gonna skip him. Uh, Thon Maker. I think Thon Maker is like that seven. He's like seven or something like that he's he that real tall dude that can block shots um i haven't really paid attention to detroit that much so i don't really know for sure um frank nitta i don't, can't even pronounce his last name we just gonna call him frank um i feel like yo nobody in new york is is that bro like I just hope that New York doesn't hold R.J. Barrett back because R.J. Barrett definitely is, oh, he definitely has the potential to become a starter. Now, I'm not going to say he's going to be a superstar. I'm not going to say he's going to be a star. I think that R.J. Barrett is just going to be a starter, but only for the simple fact that he's in New York, bro. Anything New York touches is, is just, it just doesn't work out. You feel me? Look at Melo. After Melo left New York, Things they was never the same. He probably had like maybe three good years in New York, and then they was just never the same, bro. You found me. So I don't even know what kind. I don't even know his game, bro. Like Phil Jackson, man. Now, now again, I was saying Dante Exum. I definitely felt like Utah could have used him now to develop him. You feel what I'm saying? I definitely think Utah could have developed him. Um, he was a number five over. Well, he was he was he was a, he was a fifth overall pick. You feel what I'm saying he hasn't really developed into the game that you know you would like to see him um, um, play with. Um, 
Yeah, so I mean, it is what it is. Matthew Della Vadova, seventy. I mean, that's fine. Um, at least I think that's Della Vadova. Ain't it Della Vadova? So, also a seventy-three overall who can still back in Cleveland, and we have Matthew Della Vadova. Okay, that is Della Vadova. All right, I just want to make sure that was Della Vadova. Um. And then the last four, I know in the video, yeah, I found out that Anthony Davis was a 96. Danny Green, a 76. I'm cool with that. Um, Contavious Caldwell Pope, I feel like they should boost him up a little bit just because Contavious Caldwell Pope was clutch in the finals, bro. Clutch. Like, when I say clutch, clutch. Like, those, like, I remember, like, he hit those big shots, bro. I'm like, bro. I mean, I ain't saying he worth, what? They gave him like twenty three million or something like that. I ain't saying he worth that contract, but in the playoffs he definitely earned. He like he definitely like was a clutch. Caruso seventy five. I give him that. Caruso definitely been balling. Um, and those are it, man. I'm gonna see if I can find some more ratings for y'all. But those are the ratings for today. As always, give the video a thumbs up, man. The thumbs up makes the video appear for everyone to watch it. Um, if you haven't, subscribe to the channel. Turn that bell right next to the subscribe button gray, man. Help your boy out, you feel me? Especially if you enjoy the content. You feel what I'm saying? So, I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. I love y'all. Peace.